So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom changes to a Shopify website. I've already logged in and this would be the dashboard of what you would see once you're logged in. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to online stores and you want to click on theme. And then over here on the right hand side, the blue button, there's customized theme. You want to click on that. And then over at the top left, there's theme options. You want to click on that, which will produce a drop down menu. And you want to click on edit HTML slash CSS. Once you click on that, you'll be able to access all the code files that are uh, part of the, the theme that you have currently installed on your Shopify site. So the main components that you most likely will be working with are going to be under layout which is theme.liquid which contains essentially if you're familiar with ASP.NET they're kind of like master pages it's the overall structure of your website so that will contain the header the footer um, your body and this is where you want to go you want to make kind of global changes to your site uh, everything's in HTML sprinkled with a couple in a couple places there's some Shopify specific syntax that will that I'll show you where you could uh, get more information on that from and um, the next section is templates and templates are essentially the different types of partials or pages that you would uh, that you can customize on your site so there's the 404 page there's the blog pages, articles, pages, um, the index, which is the home page, uh, pages, or page.liquid would be um, any type of generic page that has just content. There's also the product detail page, and that would, I, would be under product, the search page, and so forth. And then the last piece um, that you'll be working with or could be working with is under assets and then style styles.css.liquid that contains all your cascading style sheet code and this will basically control a lot of the colors the, the font size the type of font uh, anything that CSS covers so that's um, that's the aesthetic aesthetic parts of the site so as an example um, I was uh, told to essentially hide certain buttons on the home page and to do that since it's cosmetic since it's not a essentially uh, a change in terms of functionality but basically just hiding something uh, that's done in under assets and I put it in the styles.css.liquid uh, since it's a, a cascading style sheet type of change and for now just uh, for the sake of demo I'm gonna un do my changes so that we can see those buttons back in and then kind of uh, go through the process of how to hide them again. So I've commented the code section that hid the buttons and I I saved the changes and I'm going to go back to the site and I'm going to refresh the page and now uh, we see there's a price and there's a more details button and, and these were default with the current theme that was purchased but it didn't make sense to have them on the uh, the home page or in particular apply to these two types of products um, so what I did is um, just like any web developer um, using Chrome and I would right click and I would click on inspect and I would see how I can access the price and the the more detail button so if I right click on the more detail it'll highlight the section that will uh, that contains that portion of the code and I see that there's button uh, button C O N T which means button continue um, I can hide it from there but I wanted to be a little bit more thorough so I uh, I didn't want to hide all the more details button just because that can apply to um, other more detailed buttons that we do want to keep such as the ones that are on the product pages so for example if I go to I believe order 
and I go down here. I don't want to hide all of them because here, if I do a right click and inspect, it's also a button C O N T as well. So I want to, I want to be specific that it's only on the home page, um, or that or that product. So in order to do that, um, let me go back. We're back to the home page. I'm right click inspect element, and I'm gonna move up the chain to see which containers it's gonna uh, be contained as. So if I highlight and if I keep on going up and I highlight div class product list, I know that the button control group or button continue group is within the product list container. And more specifically, if I keep on highlighting down, I know that at least for this more detailed button, it's under uh, another div class and it is product and then another class product underscore three three one one five five seven three eight one and and if I keep going down I'll get to my button uh, button continue class so I want to create a cascading a cascading style sheet uh, code that basically will hide any any element that's in product list under product on underscore three three one one five five seven three eight one and then under the price container and then the button continue now if I do it for this one for three three one one five five seven three eight one it's only gonna hide this one it won't hide this one so I would also have to find out what the element for this one is so I'm gonna go to inspect element and I'll move up the command the chain of command and I find out that this one is three three one one four eight four two two nine so now that I have those numbers I go back to the code file and at the bottom of styles.css.liquid after line 2782 this is where I put in the commands for them to hide those two buttons so you'll see that um, I did go actually up one more. I actually went up to the content uh, block and content. If I keep going up, content essentially highlights the entire page. Um, so I, I went up one more. So I went to content and then product list that I mentioned and I highlighted product 33115573881 and price, which is the, oops, the price would be for this one. So this one's wrapped within price, but I also did it for button C O N T button continue as well because we want to hide both the pr the price and the button. And I did it for both both products. So I did one for the one ending with 381 as well as the one that ends in 229. So that's that's how you hide these two buttons. And then another thing I was asked to do is for these particular pages, or at least I think I did it for one of them. I probably should have done it for the other one. Let's see. Product form three, perhaps the uh, and then I was required to hide some sort of form on it on these pages so I'm gonna reverse the changes so that we can take a look at um, how to make a change similar to this so I'm gonna comment out that piece of code and if I refresh the forms are back on this page as well as this one so in order to to hide this I use the inspect element so I can find out exactly where in the code it's showing up and which containers they are in and I see that if I highlight, let's start with the purchase button, probably be the easiest. And if I move up the chain of command, I see that it's wrapped within the form. And then if I move up again, it's wrapped within a bigger container uh, with the product ID. So it's product underscore 33115573381. And if I wanted to go up another chain of command, I could, let's keep going up under content. So let's see what we did. So in this case, I didn't go all the way up to content. I could by adding a uh, content ID in front of it, but didn't go to that extreme. Um, probably because it's not necessary. While the other one 
it was probably necessary it's just so that it particularly highlighted only on the home page so I'm gonna uncomment this section but uh, here it is it's product detail and then product for the two products uh, one that's ends in 229 the other one that's ends in 381 and the product dash form which is the actual full container that everything's that's everything's encapsulated in so if I hide that it would be gone so let's go ahead and make this save and we'll refresh the the page and now it's gone and it's also gone for this particular product as well so essentially all code that are that you want to make to your theme is done within this uh, interface with the HTML the CSS and all the different files that make up the theme um, there's a couple of things I do recommend brushing up on um, definitely want to brush up on your CSS and HTML um, coding skills um, my favorite place to kind of learn new HTML and CSS uh, commands and just the programming language in general is W3 schools um, and I'll put that in the show notes as well as it's always good to uh, know the particular platform that you're dealing with so I definitely recommend reading up on the Shopify uh, API's you can find everything that you'll need under the Shopify manual and I'll post the links in the uh, the show comments thanks